All right, this video is going to be relatively short and maybe a little bit mean because I'm sick of arguing with people, okay? Now, you can tell me that the Ender 3 doesn't come with thermal runaway protection all you want, but if you've done any research since you got your Ender 3 two years ago, you would know that that's not the case. Stay tuned and I'll prove it. So, um, I'm not heated or anything. I mean, I have really been triggered. I just, I'm sick of having this argument. Uh, you hear people saying all the time that the Ender 3 and the Ender 3 Pro don't come with thermal runaway protection. And in the beginning, this was true, okay? But now, it's not. And let me show you something. If you look here, this is the Creelty official site. I'm looking at an Ender 3. This is the Econo version, not the Pro version, okay? And if you look right here, Skip past the part where it says that there's a, a safety protected power supply for the hotbed and read the next line where it says additional power cut protection function to meet the needs of fast heating and long time printing. Now, anybody who has owned an Ender 3 and has shut their printer off at night and come back on a cold morning to fire up their Ender 3 and notice something called a min temp error can tell you that this error does occur. And what a min temp error is, is it keeps the printer from turning on basically uh, if the temperature is too low because the most common reading for a faulty thermistor is a low reading. It's not going to say it's 140 degrees. If your thermistor says that it's 22 degrees and your CPU pumps power into the bed and then it still says that it's 22 degrees, it's just going to keep pumping power in there because it's not reaching the temperature that it's set to. So, when a thermistor sends back a faulty reading, or a crazy reading, like 22 degrees Celsius, which is below their threshold, their threshold is set at 20 degrees. If, if, if you go below 25 degrees Celsius on your hot end, it will give you a min temp error, and you won't be able to print until you get that hot end up over that 25. This is to protect you, this is your thermal protection. It'll keep from pumping in energy into the hot end and keep pumping it in there because it's not getting a reading okay so I personally I have experienced the min temp error I went to bed one night my printer was printing it finished in the middle of the night in the middle of the night I had a window open and it got really cold so when I woke up I had the min temp error and I freaked out I'd only had the printer for about a week I thought I'd broken it I was really upset I went to work I came home and throughout the day it had warmed up and I hit the button and it was ready to go a couple weeks later, I experienced the same problem, except I didn't have to work that day, so I didn't feel like waiting for the temperature to heat up. So I got my wife's hair dryer, and I pointed it at the hot end. Heating the hot end past that 25 degree threshold, it immediately kicked on. So here's the thing. You can't say that there's no thermal runaway protection. Maybe do a little research, and you will know that there is, okay? Whether or not that thermal runaway protection is up to your standards, or if your friends can find it in the firmware, I don't care. Okay, it's there and it's there for a reason and telling people that they need to flash their stock firmware when they just got their first 3D printer is ridiculous. They are safe to turn it on, they're safe to run it and they're safe to walk away from it because it has a min temp and a max temp error on both the bed and the hot end. Now I'm done ranting. I apologize. I will show you one more thing here. This is the, uh, the same site but I, I hopped over to the pro version. And it also, additional power cut protection. Now, this may not be that comforting to some people. This is the first mention of it that I came across on the website after logging onto the website and just looking at the Ender 3. Yesterday, I was in here doing a lot deeper diving, and it does mention in several places that they now ship all their Ender 3 and Ender 3 Pros with thermal protection. I will try to find that link to it in the bottom, but, I mean, you, all you have to do is see a min temp error. That's the thing. Is, is that is your thermal runaway protection. That's what keeps your printer from pumping energy in there when you're getting a bad signal from the thermistor. So that said, uh, my little rant is over. I hope this helps some of you who might have been worried about whether or not your Ender 3 was safe. If you just got a new Ender 3 computer printer and you're just getting started with it, don't mess with the firmware. Get the thing printing. They print great. Figure out what you're doing before you start taking things apart. 
because the thing should be functional out of the box, okay? It is a cheap, a relatively cheap printer, but it is a great cheap printer. And if you have problems, check out some Facebook groups. Pop over to a couple other places. Feel free to leave me a comment here because I've got nothing better to do than sit here and troubleshoot your problems for you. And I mean that seriously. I have an Ender 3 and I love beating on it and putting it through its paces. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a like on this video. Anybody who tells you the Ender 3 doesn't have thermal protection, you tell them, yeah, go ask Technivorous. He'll show you.